think uh, you know the whole group works uh, very hard, but uh, to be recognised and then be selected to represent your country is always a great honour for the players. Yeah, uh, Ryan Grant, uh, kind of back from the blue, but Anthony Caceres, I think people have been waiting for him to get his turn for some time. Yeah, look, Anthony's uh, a very good player, a very technical player, he can play in multiple positions. Uh, he's, he's been uh, very good since I've come in. He's probably been one of our most consistent players uh, since I've come into this role and like very ecstatic for him to get this opportunity. Yeah, as you say, he's pretty versatile. How do you think the Australian team can get the best out of him? Yeah, look, that's for Popper to decide on and how he wants to play and how he wants to utilise the players that he's selected. Uh, but Cassie's very versatile. He can play in uh, multiple positions uh, and he'll still do a fantastic job. And Hayden, I mean, he's, I think he's had 20 A-League games. It is a meteoric rise, isn't it? Is he ready for international football? Well, we'll find out. I, I, I believe that he definitely is. I think he's done very well uh, coming in uh, late in the back end of our season last year. And I think he's been doing well this year. And, uh, and I think this will uh, only make him grow. Okay, great. And it, it does must feel like a, a confidence boost for the whole squad when something like this happens and spreads through everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, you hope that the players, that when they do go away and they, they're involved with uh, the national team, and I believe the national team is the pinnacle of, of football space uh, that they need to be in, and, and they come back with uh, a, a massive spring in their step. Yeah. With, uh, I mean, in your career, you were regarded as one of the best players to never get a call up. I mean, it's a, it is an acknowledgement of your skills, but it's not a title you want, right? So it's, it's good that Cass is not that. No, definitely. You, uh, look, you always uh, want to represent your country. It doesn't matter at any level. I think it's a great honour, it's a great privilege to, to be selected to represent your country uh, at any level. So for Cass to have this opportunity in Hayden's first camp as well, and Rhino's been there before, I, I think the boys will be very pleased with what they've achieved. They haven't pulled up since the Hiroshima game, and how's the team looking for tomorrow? Yeah, I think the boys had a good recovery day yesterday. Today they'll be on feet again. We'll do some tactical work with them. Uh, for what we need to do against the opposition uh, tomorrow evening. Boys seem to be fine, seem to be in good spirits, which is very important. Uh, and we're, like we're playing in front of our home fans, it's been a while since we've been back at uh, Allianz to, to play a game, so uh, it's, I think it's going to be a quite an enjoyable game in front of our own supporters. Yeah, you, you said Joe Lolly was close to being able to play against San Francesco, didn't he in the end? Is he right for today tomorrow? He needs to tick a few boxes today and then we'll make a decision off that. Yeah, and same with Costa, I guess it's uh, <laughs> week, I think Douglas is still. Uh, Highly unlikely before tomorrow evening, but uh, Joe needs to tick a few boxes today at training, and then if he gets through that, then uh, he gives us a chance to uh, utilise him. Uh, for whatever reason, there always seemed to be, apart from maybe the last one, a real tight contest with uh, MacArthur. What do you think of this rivalry? Yeah, I think it's a great rivalry. I think they are a very good team. They've got some very experienced players uh, uh, in, in their squad. Uh, they have, probably haven't had the results that would, they would have liked in the last two games, so I think it's going to be a very challenging game for us, especially with a short turnaround for our players. But we're playing at home, we're playing in front of our own supporters and we want to make them uh, happy when they leave the stadium. Yeah, they've got um, a couple of players who feel like they're potentially knocking down the door too for the Socceroos, like Brent Holman, Jed Drew, Yakalish. Uh, they might come here with a point to prove. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, look at the A-League as a whole, I think there's a very young uh, group of talented players that will be knocking on the, on the Socceroos door. And, and this is what the, this competition provides, an opportunity for these young players to showcase themselves important for the city to go into the international break with, with three points. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, the, the game that you're waiting for becomes uh, too far away. So you definitely want to you know, finish uh, this round on three points and, and then have an enjoyable uh, sort of like two weeks before we play the next game. Yeah, and plenty of chances against the Japanese team over both legs. Is it uh, a little bit more clinical in attack? Is that what you're looking for? Well, that, that's what it is. I think the difference when we play international football or Champions League is... Uh, you have to be ruthless, you have to be clinical in front of goals. We, we created enough opportunities to, to score a couple of goals in that game. Uh, when you don't, and the, uh, the opponent comes and, and has a good finish, and you lose the game 1 0. So that's the difference between, uh, I think, uh, international football. We need to be ruthless when we get into those positions.